Welcome to Other Levels. Today we present you Project Status Dashboard using Google Sheets. And it's available in Microsoft Excel version. This dashboard contains two main analysis. Analyze for each project in details, can be filtered by project name drop-down list. Overall analysis for all projects during the years and their milestones, it can all be filtered using this yearly slicer. And you can get our templates by visiting our online store, other-levels.com. These are the color codes used in the design and the font type as Arial. And for training and practicing, you can now download the dataset for this dashboard for free from our website. Let's start. This is the dashboard dataset. And now we will start inserting the first pivot table. Choose to insert it in a new sheet. Add to the values field, the project value, FTE saving, and the working hours to get the total of each one of them. Let's move the pivot table to the right side a little. Adjust the look and feel. And name this part as main KPIs. Next pivot table will be used to get the project milestones. Add the milestones to the row field, and to the values field, to show the total count of each milestone. Here we have copied and pasted only the ongoing milestones in order. Use VLOOKUP formula to get the values from the pivot tables. Then find the total projects that in ongoing milestones. Next get the total projects that in the completed, cancelled, and on hold milestones. Add if error formula to avoid any mistakes. We recommend adding the background image in the beginning. And for your information, in the first stage of creating this dashboard, we will start to extract all values and charts, and later on we will set the design and format for all elements. Now select the table and insert a column chart from the insert menu. Great! Next select each total and the insert a scorecard chart for each. Then insert a text box to add the title.
Do the same previous steps for the main KPIs. For the FTE saving and the working hours, we prefer to include the title to the scorecard chart. Great! Now all elements are ready. Let's place them on the dashboard area. It will be from A1 cell to P47. For the moment, change the background to black color. Next, we will get the total and the percentages of active and non-active projects. Add the status to the row field and the values field. Use the same if error and VLOOKUP formula. Now find the percentage for active projects only. Then add it to a scorecard chart. Select this table and inset a pie chart. Add the total projects to a scorecard chart. Finally, insert the active project's title. The last part in this video is to insert a bar chart for the project's types. Add the project type to the row field and the values field. That's all for today's video. Hope you learned something useful for you. Thank you. And see you in next video.